Welcome to the first round of Press X2 this week. I'm Jeff. I'm Jesse, and we are D Up. Up. Microsoft is creating a new controller for people with disabilities. It's the new adaptive controller. Yep. You can customize it. You can add in, say, a controller that uses only the person's foot. You can add a controller that uses a joystick that you can only use with one hand. It's considered a platform that you add in yep. different pieces and parts. Press X2. Press X to command Microsoft for doing this. Yeah. I was actually going to take my time and do a video on my own about this. Oh, okay. Just because I think this is a great gesture uh. from them. Even though the platform, I think, is $100. Yeah. 100 US dollars. I think everyone should be able to play games. This is a hobby that is uh, near and dear to my heart. Uh -huh. And it helped me get through a lot. I think everyone should experience it. And them helping people out yeah and letting these people with disabilities play games the way they need to because okay. they can't they don't always get to hold the two controllers uh -huh. if you're missing an arm or missing a leg or this allows you to use whatever controllers you like and that's perfect i think i can probably use one of those just for certain games imagine fight simulator uh-huh now <laughs> Imagine you play GTA 5 and you're flying that plane and you have your own, you make your own controllers now. So it's not just for people with yeah. disabilities. Right. But if you're like a modder or something. Right. You can adapt it. And yeah, you can use it, it to, to how, do whatever you, you need want. to. Because again, like you said, it's a platform, right? Mm -hmm. With a lot of ability to add in new parts. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. And the, But I, yeah, the main thing is, yeah, great job, uh, Microsoft, mm -hmm. for doing this for people out there okay allowing more people to game here's something that might make you sad a little bit okay sony is ending production of physical ps vita games oh. in america and europe by march 2019 it has been confirmed that production of physical games in japan will still continue right press x2 press x2 read the writing on the wall i mean it was kind of inevitable I don't think I've seen that many physical games actually come out in the stores. <laughs> anymore, yeah. Yeah, anymore. So much as everything is downloadable. For me personally, I mean, on my Vita, I pretty much everything I have is downloadable. <laughs> I yeah, think I only true. have like two games yeah. that are actually physical because mm -hmm. I just have a big memory card. And, and it, portably, portable wise, yeah, I, I prefer it that way. Um, the fact that in Japan you still get them. My only thought about this when I heard about that yes. was the there's some there's like a company I think that prints certain games that otherwise wouldn't be made into physical form. They didn't do that. Uh, Is yeah. that legal? No, but they do it like um, like a small run. I, I think they've done it for I can't I couldn't tell you right now okay. the list of games that have done it, but like it's like the game comes out in normal like a certain date. Yep. Um, digitally and then this company come and make a run later on like maybe a couple months down the road in a physical form for people who just want okay. the game in physical form and this is like did like, they get I think the, they did they get the that, rights to do that, that? yeah no oh, they, they get the rights the from the company but, okay I see. but it's like that company that made the game that was putting out digital they had no plans mm -hmm. to make it physical yeah. but this company will come to them and say oh there's <sighs> people out here who want this okay. we're gonna make such and such amount yeah you know so there are people out there who are looking to collect yeah these games i don't know are physically. they gonna have to get it done through the japan route now or oh yeah or is, is that company now out of luck you know are they are they gone like oh yeah i'm not or they're gonna God, i can't remember the gonna name rake in. yeah <laughs> but that I, I just remember that that it was a company that did that yeah so like press sex yeah read the writing wall and like it was kind of inevitable yeah had a good run yeah <laughs> decent decent run decent run it, oh, and in, in the vita in general that like, thing is ridiculously that thing sells a lot in japan still yeah they yeah. have bundles that's still coming still, out for that thing <laughs> that's why they're still like i guess making physical mm -hmm. ones there but not so much out here thanks for watching if you like this video please click like and drop a comment below hit subscribe and the bell next to it to stay up to date with our content our full podcast is on iTunes and Anchor. The link is in the description below. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at D underscore up underscore gaming. This is Jeff signing off from D up gaming. We'll see you next time.